12 жасқа толған балаларға арналған. Арма маңыстау телернасының көрілмендері эфирде сіздер көптен бер күткен кофе брек, хабары кофе бректің жүргізу үшісі мен әсел қанат қыза. Қадырменді көрілмен, бүгінгі біздің экспатымыз кім болар екен, оны бірге көрейк. Let's go! Кептік! Mohammed, um, I'm so happy to see you, and uh, I want to know about when did you came to Aktau? How long? Um, I came to Aktau in August, mm -hmm. uh, just before the school academic year started. Um, so I've been since then living in Aktau. Mm. Can you introduce yourself yeah. for our television viewers? Um, my name is Mohammed Al Sheikh, mm -hmm. um, originally from Palestine. Uh, but I'm also Irish and British uh, citizen. Um, I've been living in the last 15 years in, in the UK, uh, in Belfast. Um, after finishing my master's and my PhD, I worked in academia for some time. And um, because we homeschool, I, I have one son and one daughter, and we homeschool. Uh, therefore, we weren't tied with uh, school timing uh, mm -hmm. with uh, a school timetable and we thought it would be a good idea to move somewhere for cultural experience. Mm. And uh, are you living lonely here or? No, my family, family had joined me a mm -hmm. uh, uh, few months ago. They, uh, they I, I mean the school. Oh yes, uh, in relation to school, also we homeschool in, in Akta. Mm. Yeah. So, and language? Uh, language? Yeah, for basically, uh, my wife is um, Irish. Um, so at home, we speak two languages. We speak Arabic and mm -hmm. English. Mm -hmm. uh, and the children are, are bilingual, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. uh, so also for teaching, we teach in both Arabic and English. Mm -hmm. So the children uh, gain both um, terminologies in different uh, topics than different subjects um, in both languages mm. and I can say that my child who's 10 his name is Hamza he is native speaker of Arabic and English at the uh, same time same. with the same proficiency mm. Mm -hmm. um, what are you doing here in Kazakhstan yeah so in Kazakhstan I teach chemistry mm -hmm. um, so I teach chemistry for year 11 mm. and year 12 in Nazarbayev uh, school. Uh, the teaching system here is something called co-teaching. Mm -hmm. And co-teaching means that the international teacher will teach with the local teacher um, at the same time. Mm -hmm. And basically, the, both teachers, they will uh, cooperate in preparing the lesson and delivering the lesson as well. Um, so I do co-teach with different teachers in year 11 and year 12. Mm. Are you planning to uh, stay here in Kazakhstan? Yes. How long? Um, f for how long? It's, it's unknown. Um, uh, but for the meantime, yeah, the plan is to um, stay in Kazakhstan. Shall I be offered uh, an extension to the contract? Mm -hmm. How is Kazakhstan with you? Well, um, I haven't been to the whole of Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is a continent, basically. Mm -hmm. It's a big country. But um, in Aktau, um, geographically speaking, um, I, because Palestine and also I was born in Libya, uh, I grew up in a similar sort of environment to Aktau, which is more of a desert and then overlooks the sea. Uh, so it's very much similar to what I'm used to. Um, culturally, uh, it's very much also similar to uh, the, uh, the culture and values that we have in Palestine. So I don't find that there is sort of a you know, big gap in relation to the culture, in relation to the traditions. And this is something that makes me comfortable to 
um, to, to live here. Mm. How about tradition in Kazakhstan? What do you think about it? Um, it's basically Kazakhstan has some linkage with Palestine. And this is maybe some people don't know mm -hmm. uh, that uh, Sultan Babens, mm -hmm. uh, he was the, the leader to mm -hmm. liberate Palestine 1,000 years ago, and he's from Kazakhstan. So, uh, so Kazakhstan, and, uh, because Kazakhstan belongs to the Turk culture, and the Turk culture and the Arab culture are very close, mm -hmm. uh, and at the same time there are lots of uh, uh, similarities in, in words, for example. Um, If you take the word maktab, it mm. comes from the Arabic word katab, which mm. means, which means uh, to write. Um, yani, when they would say yani, it means I mean in Arabic, which is the same usage in, in uh, rahmat, mm -hmm. it means uh, thank, you. thank you. And it comes from the word rahma, which means mercy. Mm. So we are saying to somebody, thank you for your mercy, thank you for your kindness. Uh, so there is lots of similarity between the two cultures. And this makes the uh, interacting with people living here to be easy, mm -hmm. to be manageable. Mm -hmm. About your country, yeah. I want to know about your country, about Palestine. Well, uh, I'm originally from Palestine, but unfortunately I didn't live there. I wasn't born there mm -hmm. uh, because of the political situation. Mm -hmm. So my extended family still live in Palestine, my small family live in Libya. Um, situation uh, in so I, I can't really comment much about the social life etc etc because I didn't live there uh, personally um, however I would say uh, that the culture in Palestine uh, is very much similar to the culture in, mm -hmm. in, in Kazakhstan it's very much similar to the culture in Libya uh, so uh, shaking hands for example uh, You know, the traditions about food, about gathering around a uh, table, uh, inviting others, uh, sharing. It's very much, very mm. much similar. Mm -hmm. About uh, traditional food in Libya. Uh, We have bishparma, you know? <laughs> yes, indeed. Have you tried? No, actually, what's interesting about the... I haven't tried it yet. But what's interesting about the traditional food, since you mentioned, mentioned that, Uh, that one of the traditions food in Kazakhstan is Turkish makluba. Mm -hmm. And Turkish makluba actually it is Palestinian food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it comes from Palestine mm -hmm. and then it, w it went to Turkey and from Turkey it came to Kazakhstan. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm saying that makluba it's, it's, it's Palestinian food is because of the name itself. Mm -hmm. Makluba means upside down. Mm -hmm. So basically you put your vegetables at the bottom and then your meat and everything. Mm -hmm. And then after the rice is cooked, you invert the mm -hmm. dish, so that is, that's why it's called makluba, it means upside down, mm -hmm. literally. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is one common thing between the two cultures. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing that, uh, in relation to Bashbarma, in, in all the Arab culture, we have very much similar to the same idea, mm -hmm. that it is meat and bread. Mm -hmm. So here we have these pasta sheets mm -hmm. uh, that you eat with, with the meat, but there instead of the pasta, uh, pasta sheets, you eat bread. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very much the same. Do you, do you know shish tawud? Yes. I mean. like shish tawud. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course And then, um, tradition about food. Have you tried uh, shubat and kurdak? I mean, uh, Kazakh traditional food. Uh, the common milk. Yes. Yes, indeed. It's, uh, it's, um, it, it was new to me. Uh, although I lived in Libya, which is uh, very much similar to Kazakhstan mm -hmm. uh, geographically, and also they eat meat there, mm -hmm. uh, but I've never tried it before. So it's the first time I tried it here. It is different to the cow's milk. It is thinner. Uh, it has a different taste, but it is it's very nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, it's very um, beneficial uh, from health perspective. Uh, there is nowadays lots of research going on in the UK about the um, using the common milk to enhance the immunity uh, of the body uh, and because in the UK they don't have camels mm -hmm. so they use llama instead mm -hmm. the animal mm -hmm. llama instead of the camels uh, because they produce similar sort of uh, milk and the properties of the milk are very much similar but still it's been said 
that the Cummins milk is sort of far superior in relation to the health benefits mm -hmm. as compared to the llama's milk. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that um, I want to know about your inspiration in here. I mean, your first imp impression in here in Atal. Mm -hmm. uh, have you visited our Caspian Sea? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, every weekend probably we go to Caspian Sea for a walk. Um, it is sort of uh, again. It is because I, I was I was born in a city called Benghazi. If you've heard about it mm -hmm. in Libya, and if you look at the if you look at Benghazi on the map, and you look at Aktau, they're very very much similar, very much. So in, in Benghazi you have the promenade. Mm -hmm. This is the seaside, and in Aktau you have the seaside. Um, because maybe the population in Benghazi is a little bit bigger, so it's a bigger city. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you, if you get a chance to go to, to Benghazi, you will notice that it is a copy of Aktau. Mm. So the first impression when I came to Aktau, that it reminded me by my childhood. Because mm. of the similarity between the two cities. Mm -hmm. About new generation, what do you think uh, Kazakh new generation? I haven't, uh, of course what I can comment on is the, the generation that I'm, I'm dealing with here. The, it is really interesting to, like I'll tell you a few things, my observation about the, uh, the children in the classroom. Mm. In, in, in this school, there is no issues whatsoever with the class management. So the teacher doesn't require teacher training in relation to class mm -hmm. management. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because the children are well behaved. Mm -hmm. So, and this is critically important. Um, if you go to other countries, you will notice, uh, and I can't generalize this in all Kazakhstan, of course, because I, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, I don't know the, the rest of the schools and cultures, etc., and cities. Um, but what I, what I can observe from you know, my short stay in Kazakhstan, my short experience, that the, this sample of children that I, I dealt with are really well behaved. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is important because this reflects a strong traditions, it reflects a, a good stable environment, mm -hmm. social environment within their, the homes of these children. Um, so again, like teachers, they don't require any sort of management because they, the children are well behaved. Now, in relation to the next generation, I feel the next generation in Kazakhstan are sort of very eager to gain knowledge. This is like very noticeable. Like any, any child in this school, he will know three languages at least. He will know Kazakh, Russian and English. And uh, it's not only that, but also they compete uh, a lot in, in, in lots of subjects. They compete academically. Uh, they sort of do their best to achieve the highest score in academically. So I think the, gener the next generation in Kazakhstan, or this generation that I've seen in, in this school, is very promising. And uh, that's why I feel uh, it is really, really important to to um, to keep this generation in Kazakhstan. Mm -hmm. In other words, in my opinion, this generation, many universities like Nazarbayev University mm -hmm. at that level, they have they should be created in Kazakhstan. And the reason that these universities should be created in Kazakhstan mm -hmm. so that it keeps these students in Kazakhstan. The danger to that when students go and study outside mm -hmm. the country, that there is the, because these are bright students, mm -hmm. and any country wants these students to mm -hmm. stay in. So the danger that these students will go and not come back, mm -hmm. and this is something that needs to be looked after. Mm. Uh, have you investigated, searching about our education system before? Um, in relation to school system? Yes. education system, um, Kazakh. To, to be honest with you, no, 
Mm -hmm. My answer is no. Why? Um, because um, the system is sort of, I mean, I didn't investigate to, to know details of, of the system because mm -hmm. to me it's just like the normal system in any country where you finish your uh, secondary education, you go to the university, I mean... Because I mean, our education system is not the same with uh, US or Arabic, you know, right? Uh -huh. and look, and, I'm not sure what's the difference, but to me so far it's very much the same. Mm. It's very much the same. Uh, so basically, I'm talking about the Nazarbayev school. Mm. It's very much mm. similar to what I'm used to. Have you visited our, uh, not Nazarbayev, our general school? Yes, actually I, um, I haven't visited yet, but mm -hmm. I, in a couple of days, I will be given a talk in one of the schools in Aktau about education abroad, mm -hmm. about the, what to expect and mm -hmm. how it is conducted, etc. Et mm -hmm. uh, my next question about your dream? Well, my personal dream isn't that, uh, that big, it's just like any person's uh, normal dream to see their family happy, uh, safe, uh, content, um, but there isn't really uh, any sort of specific uh, dream as such. Mm -hmm. um, uh, about your goal in here? Um, I mean in Kazakhstan. In Kazakhstan. Well... What you want to take in Kazakhstan? Yes. Uh, my, my main goal in, in Kazakhstan is to provide quality teaching. Mm. This is the... That's why I'm here, basically. Mm. And... Um, and this is what I'll, I'll, I'll be doing during this year and hopefully next year. So, preparing material, good quality material, uh, delivering good quality lessons, uh, giving aid as much as we can. This is the, the main thing that I need to do while I'm here. Mm. About book? About book. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Um, I would recommend in relation to chemistry, um, it depends, like chemistry is huge, as you know, chemistry is divided into mm -hmm, mm -hmm. different uh, sub-titles, you have organic chemistry, electrical chemistry, physical chemistry, uh, inorganic chemistry. Um, the lack of time sometimes mm -hmm. can be problematic, um, and therefore, for those who want to gain knowledge and maybe uh, in, in a contemporary sort of means, maybe one of the things is to watch uh, good lectures on uh, on YouTube. Mm. Uh, watching uh, lectures on YouTube from respected institutes, like of MIT, for example, mm -hmm. uh, can be highly sort of uh, beneficial because uh, basically the whole course, the course of uh, chemistry one or two course of chemistry two, course of organic chemistry, it's all between your hands uh, and you are getting it from the best universities in the world. Mm. Once you do this, once you achieve this, then you can go to the next step and go basically to um, a good academic book mm -hmm. uh, and read it. And here it's, it's important to, um, to, to notice that there are certain um, there are certain academic books that are used in these big universities and um, if the person would like to gain good knowledge it's not just any title mm -hmm. they'll go and read it mm -hmm. but it is like a they should be looking at what that university is teaching because um, for example there is an organic chemistry book written by um, uh, Morrison Boyd Mm -hmm. And this book basically is a standard book mm -hmm. that's taught in so many good universities. So if you were, you know, to, to study or to enhance your knowledge in chemistry, in organic chemistry, mm -hmm. I would recommend that book. Mm -hmm. And the and, and same, same principle applies also for the rest of the subjects. What's your hobby? Um, Reading, yes. um, going for walks, mm -hmm. 
with the with the family mm -hmm. uh, camping uh, mm. as well um, this week but not here right uh, in Ireland we, we did a lot of camping mm -hmm. so it was it was very much enjoyable um, and going for coffee as well mm. this is actually one of the do you like coffee indeed indeed mm. uh, every day I drink. what do you think about coffee coffee is healthy for for us I believe, like moderately speaking, if you drink it moderately, mm -hmm. uh, it is it is healthy. Mm -hmm. It is good. Uh, for me, I drink every day three to four cups. Mm. Yeah. It's too much. Why? I'm, I'm used to it. Uh, I'm used to drink this much of coffee. I don't feel it is affecting me any uh, sort of in any negative way. Mm -hmm. And. Um, it's fine. I don't drink it with milk or sugar, just black coffee as mm. it is. Mr. Mohammed, yes. I'm uh, I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for the interview. Uh, thank you very much for uh, giving me this opportunity to what you wish with, for with uh, uh, what you wish audience. for yes, TV viewers. Yeah, so yes. uh, so um, I, I'd like to thank you for this opportunity to give me opportunity to communicate with your audience. Um, I wish you all the best uh, and I wish uh, Kazakhstan prosperity um, and I can see that in probably five years time Akta will be a, a completely different city with the um, with these new buildings and also mo most importantly with the new generation that's coming with lots of knowledge and ambition. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Я қадырмен де көрермен, бүгінге кофе брек тамам, келесіге дейін жүздескенше сау саламатта болыңыздар. Біздің келесі экспатымыз кім болар екен, оны бірге көрегі.